That does that doesn't sound cool. That doesn't sound cool. I was hoping that I I would sound cool while doing it. Is there any way I could possibly sound cool while while going out? -oo? I just sounded like a puppy. I just sounded like a poor puppy. I want I want I want to be like oh oh I don't know. It's not possible. It's not possible. Hey, Furman here. Welcome back to the barnyard. Yes. I did repair our progress after the last time it crashed to bring you another beautiful festivity of, of, of barns and sometimes even a little bit of yard. The farm game, as some would call it. And according to how long to beat, we're approaching the end of the series. We're approaching the end of the series. Can we, can we get a, can we get a, a moment of silence? I want crashes. Well, I don't mind if there's a crash as long as it's not gonna lose an hour of progress. I wish, this is exactly why auto saving was the best invention that like has ever been made in the history of the human race. I, if I'll be deep into this stream, I'm watching 31 minutos with my friend, but have a good stream. Oh, I thought you were, oh, I think 31 minutes is a movie. I thought you were trying to say you were all like, I'm only watching 31 minutes of this stream. That's it. Well, Sleeping Bozit, thank you for the 100 bits. CG, thank you for the gifted sub to horsies. Wick, thank you for the 37 month resub. And Sleeping Mazda for the 10 if bits I for the stream. For every full year that I've been subbed to this channel, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot. But it's weird that it's been that long, right? Thank you, Jaden, for the 24 month resub, the hype train, and shout out to Roblox Music. I did not know this was from Roblox. I didn't even know, do Roblox games have orchestral music these days? What if you softlock the game and it auto saves? Actually, I will tell you. So in case you don't know, the last time I streamed this, the game crashed and it crashed hard. Like the whole thing was, was shot. I had to like unplug the, the system from the wall. Okay. And then when I went back to redo the progress today, it softlocked on me. During trying to get it done, I had to restart it. But, but I have good news. We, I, I've downloaded the latest patch, the latest barnyard patch, and I think, I think we're good to go. This song was used in Roblox, but it's not a Roblox song. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Speaking of uh, Roblox, in fact, actually, this has nothing to do with Roblox. Speaking of Fortnite. Look what I brought. CD, thank you for gifting us something to the beta farm. That's right. That's right. I'm ready for Fortnite. And this is how this is how it's gonna look when I when I play it on stream. This is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna sit like I just have to we <laughs> play like this. I look like I look like someone who played guitar in a band when they were like 25 and now they're like 80. So like the guitar's like up here. <laughs> For, just to like help with like like lower back issues. I'm like, ah. yeah. I don't want to like press any button. Well, no, it's not hooked up to anything. Yeah, I'll press some buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, every song is gonna be claimed. What about guitar praise? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's my thought. I thought eventually we could do a little bit of a uh, 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 a stream playing clone hero playing some songs that uh that are not claimed like video game music like 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 this song yeah you hear all that guitar happening it's great and then i thought i could do like a comfort zone on patreon that's only claimed songs that i can't legally I play on straight know the cheese balls sung to the melody of that one song super mario galaxy 2 i think has been stuck in my head all day and i sang it on the way to class the stairs I got made me feel real. What? I, I sang... Of course I did. Of course I did. I can't remember what song you're talking about, but even if you're lying, I believe you. I don't think you're lying. That sounds like something I would do. Just saying cheese balls. To Gusty Garden Galaxy? What? Gusty Garden Galaxy. I don't remember doing this. When did I... Whoa! That's loud. <laughs> That song's always a little loud. I instantly, my brain clicked. It was this. Cheese, cheese balls. 
eating cheese, cheese balls. Cheese balls, cheese balls, cheese cheese balls, cheese balls. Yeah, Carly's right. The stream just started. We can't get it. We can't get into this right now. We can't get into this right now. But I'll tell you what we can get into. We can get into the barn yard and have ourselves a fun, 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 fun little fun time. Old McBetter had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had a, a rotus, E-I-E-I-O. It's such a dumb song. I don't even like that song. That's like one of the songs that I was a contrarian as a kid that I purposely hated. CG, thank you for the 50 bits and all the gifted subs. And Betty, thank you for the 100 bits. It was like one of those, like, Old McDonald had a farm. Yeah, I hate that song. That was like my, my identity as a child. Where did you get the name Rotus from? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I have no idea where I got that from. Why do you have 99 coins? Because I, I got max coins. So we're good to go. If I remember correctly, the last thing is uh, we need to get a cake. We need to get a cake. So I need to sleep until morning. Oh, it's Otis, but cooler. The R stands for really cool guy. Do a Guitar Hero stream where you mute the audio and only you can hear it, so you're just playing in silence. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Wouldn't that be fun, everyone? Just all you hear is the clickety click of the guitar? Does that sound just so entertaining and fun? The max is actually 9,999. Oh. Also, can I just say, I don't know why. I think I think it's because the shirt is oversized. I don't know what it is, but like when I look at the camera, like on the top right of the stream, for some reason I feel like I feel like I'm in a swimming pool. You know what I mean? Where like where chat like cuts in is like the pool water, and I'm just like sitting here. I don't. It's because the shirt is so big that it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a shirt. Like it does it. It's you know when you like have a really really big shirt where it just doesn't feel like you're wearing it anymore. Blake, thank you for the tier three resub for 67 months. Holy crap, thank you. We should do something nice for the farmer. Okay. You're not wearing a shirt, wake up. This is like, this is like my super oversized shirt. You know what I mean? I don't get the pool connection. It's because you can't see like my hands. So it's like I'm sitting in a hot tub, you know? I got you. <sighs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Kappa, for the five gifted So You're just outside the pool. <laughs> ah, it's my watering hole. Ah, delicious. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. How you doing? How you doing, Rainbow Kappa? What's a good recipe? Butter, eggs, and honey. Okay, we need to make butter, eggs, and honey. I can do that. Vibing in your hot tub. That is one of the one of the number one clips of the year. That's one of the number one clips of the year. I have to uh, I have to let you know something. There's a reason why I'm acting this way. This weekend, I watched the Goofy movie, and I've been feeling goofy ever since. I've not been able to ungoofify myself since then. That that, that, expl that explains it, right? I feel I feel extremely goofy ever since watching that movie, and then. To make matters worse, I watched the extremely goofy movie. The extremely goofy movie. So if, if it wasn't already a problem, I'm now extra goofy. I stopped watching the goofy movie after an early scene scared me. What scene? I got scared because of the, uh, the, the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot guy. 
I've seen a few clips of the Goofy movie, not the whole thing. Well, Nooks and I have been, like, watching uh, Disney movies recently. Just because we wanted to... I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I don't remember what I need to do. I don't remember. Is it butter, flour, and, and honey? It's butter, flour, and honey, right? I think that's what it is. I think it's butter, flour, and butter, eggs, and honey. Okay, butter, eggs, and honey. Let me let me just get me make me some more milk. Let me make some more milk. So what happened was is Nooks and I were talking about how you know we should like watch a movie. We should watch a movie. We haven't watched a movie in a while. The last time we watched a movie was I mean I guess it wasn't that long ago. It was at Christmas. Yo, thank you, Rainbow Camera, for giving this up to the best drink in the world, milk. Thank you very much. I used to drink like cups this big of milk every single day of my childhood. Every single solitary day of my childhood. So, at Christmas, we watched, like, you know, the Christmas movies, like Elf and stuff like that. And, and it was really good. And it was delicious. I don't know why I called watching a movie delicious. Oh, I need eggs. Eggs are back this way. And um, we decided, you know what? We're going to watch some more movies. When I said to Nooks that I'd never seen Hercules before, that we, in we just watched Hercules. We just instantly watched Hercules. Uh, and uh, I have my Hercules review. If any, if anyone, if anyone's interested in my Hercules review, watch it for the first time ever. It might be the best uh, Disney movie I've ever seen in my entire life. It actually, it it might have been the best one I've ever seen in my entire life. I've not seen any, any of the Disney movies. Pretty much. Like, I'm not talking Pixar. I'm not talking Pixar. I'm talking, like, just Disney movies. Only Disney. I haven't seen any of them from, like, the 90s to the to the early 2000s. I didn't see any of those. So, Nooks and I are just going through a phase of we're gonna watch all the 90s and early 2000s Disney movies. There was one, though. There was one. There was one Disney movie that I saw during that time, though. Chicken Little. Chicken Little. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Rainbow Kappa, for gifting a sub to the creator of Disney, John Disney. Thank you so much. Uh, where is... Where's the... the honey place? I think it's, like, back here. No, not Chicken Little. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, Chicken Little was vital to my growth as a human being. The movie Chicken Little, like, fundamentally changed who I was as a person. It was peak. It was, it was peak. And also this, I know the song is playing only out of the left ear. That's normal. Don't worry. That's normal. I, uh, I, I mean, granted, I haven't watched it since. I haven't, I haven't watched it since. Um, but I remember, I watched like a trailer of it recently. Like, like, like a, like a, like a, you know, trying to be like, oh, did, what would happen if the, if the, the, the sky started falling? Well, with this little chicken, it really did. You know what I mean? Like that trailer. And um, I think it's because when I watched that movie, I was like, what was that? Like 2006, 2005? So I would have been like eight years old or something like that. I was small and tiny. And this little character was also small and tiny. I felt seen by Chicken Little. I felt, I felt represented by Chicken Little. And... Much like Chicken Little, I had a crush on the Ugly Duckling. Now, how do I do this again? There's like one B in there. Is that a problem? How do I do this? Oh, right. Do it like this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember this. Did you feel like a chicken? Every once in a while, I, I feel like a little bit of a little... I feel like a little bit of like a chicken. Bagok and all that. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Do I need... Do I need, like... Oh, I have to fill a whole jar. I was like, oh, I've already got it. Are they, like, right behind me? <gasps> they're, they're right behind me, aren't they? Oh, that's not good. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh shoot! I think I might need a little help. I think I might need a little help getting through this one, guys. I'm gonna need a little help from the number one excitement brand. 
G Fuel. It looks like it's time for the only caffeinated beverage that tastes good in the entire world. That's right. Wumper Fruit G Fuel. How much G Fuel do you own? Um, several. Several G Fuels. Several. You know what? Yo, thank you, Rainbow Kappa, for giving this up to the real G Fuel. The real G Fuel. Did you know that if you use promo code beta 6 for a checkout, you can finally be happy? That's right, 20% off G Fuel. Highly recommend the Wumper Fruit flavor. It's my favorite of the bunch. Do you really need caffeine to sit at your desk? Um, I am beyond exhausted today. Beyond exhausted today. You know what I did today? You know what I did today? I sat at my computer and used my brain all day and didn't move and I'm exhausted. I made the final generator templates for beta 64 videos, which means we can begin work on the video editing stage. That's not to say videos are coming out like next week, next month, or I, it, I, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that's a humongous like achievement that took months of work. And um, I'm very, I'm very proud of, of how they all turned out. Um, so I needed this. <laughs> and if you need it too, 20% off. Use beta C4 check, <laughs> okay? All right. I know, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna play again, but that's because... It's because my button's broken to turn it off. That's my button's broken. Oh no, is chatbot down? Oh, I forgot to I forgot to wake Chatbot from its eternal slumber. I completely forgot to do that. I'm sorry, Chatbot64. That's my bad. New videos will come out in this universe at some point. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got my gallon of chocolate milk in jars of G Fuel. Put G Fuel in milk. See, I mean, it probably won't taste good, but who am I to, who am I to stop you? Legally, I can't I can't tell you to do anything. I have Calpico concentrated mail. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Anyway, about Chicken Little. Have you guys heard the intro song of Chicken Little lately? It's the greatest song that's ever existed in, in the world. It is the best song I've ever heard of in my entire life. Made by none other than the producers of the Big Bang Theory theme song. Let me, uh, here we go. Yeah, one little slip. One little slip. One little slip. It was a fusion of confusion with a few confounding things. One little slip. One little slip. And then I don't, and now just say, it, it was a fusion of confusion with a few confounding things. You know how it is. You know how it is. Same people made 14 billion years to build the wall. We built the pyramids. Math, science, history, reveling the mystery. Then all starting with the big thing. Same band. Same band. The DMCA is on standby. Man, it'd be actually kind of nice if, if my singing was so good that it got claimed. My singing was that good. Yeah, the Bare Naked Ladies is the name of the band. So, just gonna tell you right now, Chicken Little is worth watching just to hear that theme song. It's so freaking good. So now I have the honey, I got the eggs, I got the milk, I'm ready to go back and make this cake. Oh, and the one scene with the vending machine, yeah, that's good, that's good. I want to play that song so bad on stream, but it's like, it's a Disney song. Like, it's gonna get claimed. It's gonna get claimed, but it's like, like, I, I listened to it 15 times yesterday in a row. That's how much I'm into this song right now. That's how much I was into that song. I hadn't thought about it 
in, in such a long time, and then it just like came into my world again. And I was like, one little slip. One little slip. <laughs> Yo, Rainbow Gamma, you've been so generous. Oh my gosh. Thank you for giving this up to Andrew64. My secondary YouTube channel you should subscribe to. Okay. Also, Meet the Robinsons, I do actually remember saying that one. So maybe I maybe I lied a little bit about not saying early 2000s movies, but late 90s movies and early 90s movies, I did not watch. Like, uh, I have to wait till nighttime to bake the cake, don't I? Don't I? How do I bake again? No, 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 no. There's like a side entrance or something. Meet the Robinsons, um, I only remember Goob. <laughs> I only remember Goob. He looks like he's being held. Like, like, like someone's behind him with the kitchen knife being like, yeah, act normal. There's no music. Butter, honey, eggs. How could I make something so will? Goob is the best character. I actually don't even remember anything in that movie other than the fact of, uh... Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. The only thing I remember is, uh... Goob being like, like, oh, back in... When I was in school. Or not in school. When I, when I was in the orphanage, everybody hated me. And then, uh, and then it cuts to a flashback and they're like, Oh, hey, Goob! <laughs> nice binder, man! Hey, Goob! Wanna go hang out at my place after school? It's like, they all hated me. And that's like the best scene in any movie ever. They all hated me. And then, and then the part where, where like, he's like, I was upset for years that you were famous. And then I realized a flash of inspiration. None of this was my fault. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh man. But I, I can't recommend the movie because I don't remember anything else about it. I don't remember anything else about it other than that. He said leave it on his doorstep. Oh, right. There's like a... Sorry, I got a little G Fuel on my lips. I have to go to like his house. Where's his house? Danny Lime. Oh, the Beatty Farm. Right? Yeah, I think that's where I need to go. It is a good movie watching. It's on the list. So far, we've watched Hercules, which was incredible. We watched uh, Atlantis, which was not incredible, <laughs> which is, uh, I actually had a toy from the Atlantis movie, like the little crystal they wear. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It, 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 didn't, it didn't quite hit. I didn't mind the movie though. I didn't mind it at all. Nooks was more of like, that sucked. I was more of like, oh, it's, it's fine, it's, it's fine. It just kind of, it didn't like, it didn't like link. It felt like I needed to read like a book. Oh, there's a mini map on the screen. Thank you, I had no idea, I had no idea. There's a mini map on the screen, guys. Okay, where's, where's the doorstep? Oh, up here. Is this, is this not it? Is this not his house? Oh, is that his house? Which is his house? Are they both his house? You're not supposed to be here? Wait, but she said to like leave it on his on his doorstep. Is this not his house? Ben's Hill, the barn. Is his house at the barn? Oh, his his house is at the barnyard. Then whose houses are these? You know a farmer lives on the farm, right? Well, I didn't know. Maybe he had like a side farm. Like, like, you know, like, he wanted to, you know, hang out. You know, you want to separate work and play. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe he's got an office building. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to tell a guy like him how to live his life. They're his neighbors. Do we see them in the show? Do we know who they are? I really wish they made a TV show out of the Atlantis movie. I do feel like... It would have it would have definitely helped a lot more if I understood what in the world was going on in the movie. I do think the soundtrack was kind of a banger. There's like a part I, I'm such a sucker 
for the soundtrack being I went the wrong way. That, I'm such a sucker for those kind of songs. They do like those kind of songs in uh, in Your Name and like uh, Suzume. But they did it like when she was walking towards the uh, when she was walking towards the the like floating face. See, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Like floating face thing. They have like in the soundtracks like. Huh, 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 huh. And I tried to find it on YouTube. I can't find it. I think it was like maybe it's not considered part of the soundtrack. It's like considered like sound effects for the thing. I don't know. But it's just like uh like like breathing. It's like breathing. I like when they add breathing to my songs. You know what I mean? That's just vocalization. I don't know if they count as like part of the song, you know what I mean? You were wonderful. No, no problem. You really made the farmer's day. <laughs> it was easy. I hope he likes it. Goodbye. That's that's how I like to st end every conversation. Man, oh man, you were so cool out there. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Hey, do you want to go? Goodbye. Now. 125 gopher bucks. I need like actually buy stuff and I also need to save. I personally don't enjoy people breathing my ears. No, it's like, it's like, it, it, I think it's in Suzume. They have like the soundtrack where it's like, it's supposed to be like ethereal. Like, 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 like I'll do it to this song. Like that, like that. Does that sound great? <laughs> Does that sound great? Okay, uh, I'm at the back entrance of Izzy Springs and I gotta go to Ben's Hill. Let's do it. I think you should just get an example. I would, but they're all claimed. You know what I mean? They're all claimed. If I pull up Suzume, cause that, I, I could not find the one from, uh, from Atlantis. But like Suzume, that one has like a ton of songs like that. That one, that one has a ton of songs like that. No, I'm not, I'm not talking like it's the guy playing the guitar and you hear him go like. <sighs> like, I'm not, I'm not talking like that. Just look up the scene in the movie. So you want me to play the movie on stream? You want me to play the movie? The Disney flick on stream. Sounds good to me. Hold on, I might have a safe option. If you can find me an option that like shows what I'm talking about, that'd be that'd be great. That'd be that'd be that'd be like that'd be great. Get off the dang mic. Just talk over it. Yeah, it'll be it'll be fair use if I talk over it. I'm like, hey, in this scene, uh, this scene, uh, for educational purposes. Oh shoot, we're doing golf again. Okay, good. Actually, this would be great because the golfing takes a long time. <laughs> it takes a long time. Come on, Pip. It's time to hit the greens. Yeah, it's educational purposes. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up to see if uh, I'm pulling up the the Discord server in case uh, HUD posted in there. Fun fact: Did you know? The sound effects for getting honey were recorded by putting a mic next to someone eating gusher hash browns. Okay, I didn't need to read that. I I want you to know I scrolled down and that's why I should have, I, I thought it was a real comment. And then I scrolled down halfway through reading it and realized that was not, that was not the case. How do I do this again? I don't remember how to play this again. I, oh, oh, wait, wait, I do remember. I do remember. I have to like do it like this. I'm not sure if you're joking or it's true. Well, um, if I had to make an assumption, I don't think gusher hash browns exist, or at least God, I hope they don't exist. I really hope they don't exist. Ooh, ramps and stuff. Oh, golly. 
Perfect hit. Perfect hit. Perfect hit. I like how this is golf, but you're literally just cheating. Oh, thank goodness I actually made it. I actually made it. I don't know if that was impressive or extremely difficult that I made it. This is going to be impossible. I'm going to be stuck here. I'm going to be stuck here all day. I'm going to- Oh, I cheated! I cheated! I cheated! There we go. There we go. There we go. No, 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 no. Yo, okay, good. Mario Golf Super Rush wishes it could be as good as this game. I like that Mario Golf Super Rush, for some reason, is like a dad game. Like, I hear a lot of people like, yeah, my parents really like Mario Golf Super Rush. It's really, it's really, uh, hit the dad market well. I'm going to scream! Okay, got it. I got it. I got it. Jeez Louise. Is there, like, strokes in this game? I'm sorry, did he, did he say something? I could I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything. Also, I just want you to know this is the only song that plays through this entire thing. If you want me to play uh, other songs, maybe songs with huh, 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 in it, then I can. I can. Is this a war zone? Yeah, I don't know where this is supposed to be in the barnyard, like, you know, universe. HUD posted in Smithstream? Okay. I'm gonna do it right after this hole. Right after this hole. I hope it's just HUD going like <laughs> into a into a microphone while like I don't know like Undertale music plays in the background. Okay. Let's see. See what this is. Ooh, Death Loop. Okay, okay. This isn't, this won't be clinked. Let's see. Let's see. That's so loud. It's close. It's close. But instead of it being sustained, like, ah, ah, like that, it needs to be like, short, like, ah, ah, ah. I'm just gonna find it. I'm just gonna freaking find it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to find it because I, I don't, oh, the music, the music glitched out. Oh, never mind. No, we're back. No, don't worry. I know you missed it. I know you, I know you missed the music. Staccata st st vocalization? Interesting. Kind of. It's close to that. Staccata. It's close to staccata. It's close to staccata. I might just have to listen to the entire OST for freaking Atlantis. Speaking of Atlantis, um, any of you watch Treasure Planet? Is that like the same movie? I always thought as a kid it was the same movie. No, it's not. It's not the same movie. I don't know why I thought it was. I thought for some reason, as a, as a kid, not as an adult, as a kid, I thought it was the same movie. Because I don't know, they both have characters. <laughs> they both have characters in them. Treasure Planet is very good. Oh, sweet. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I thought I got it. I thought I got it. That would have been so cool. Good observation. That was back in the day where, like, you know, I came to my own conclusions and, uh, didn't listen to anyone or anything else. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was back in those days. I'm sure someone could have told me, oh no, Andrew, it's not the same movie, but I'd be like, it's the same movie. My contrarian face. Is, are strokes like a thing in this, or am I just trying to get it within the time limit? I'm... What happens if I don't make it? I don't know what happens if I don't make it. Guys, I don't know what happens if I don't make it. There's nothing on the timer! I got it the last millisecond! Holy crap! There was nothing on the timer! Whoa! Whoa! That might have been the greatest gaming moment of the year already. That was incredible. I can't, I can't, like, see. I can't, camera, I can't, I can't see. You did it, hooray. Thank you. 
If we could get a few more you did it hoorays in chat, I, that, would, that would just be the world to me. That'd just be the world to me. Yeah, there we go. What am I like? Oh, I can't. I can't. I just have to watch. They got they got really, really clever with their level design now. <gasps> Yay! Hooray! Treasure Planet Atlantis were both attempts by Disney to have an action-focused movie that appealed to preteen boys. I think that's the thing that I like the most about Atlantis. Even if I didn't like particularly like it a lot. I like the thought of it trying to be a little more edgy. You know how I am about edgy things. You know how I am. I like I like my edgy preteen audience movies and video games like Shadow the Hedgehog. It's like edgy, but like not too edgy. We gotta still get our E10 plus rating. You know what I mean? That like that like appeals to me. That's why I liked Sonic 06 a little bit, because it was like trying to be a little edgy too. Like, oh it's me, Mephilus. I'm bad. And I'm evil too. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog number two. It literally was Shadow the Hedgehog number two. It literally was. Are you ever going to play Psychonauts 2? I swear. I swear. I swear I will. I swear. I swear. I haven't yet, but I swear I will. I own two copies. I swear I will. I, I'm, I'm going to. I beat the game over my break. Okay, how long did it take you? How long did it take you? It has whimsy and teeth, and it's like, I want to give it... But Rebirth, oh, there's too many video games. There's too many. There's too many video games. Why can't we as a gaming industry stop making video games until I finish playing the ones that I own? Stop making video games until I'm personally done. Was that good? Oh, that was great. Oh, that was the best. That was the best one I could have done. That was incredible. Can we just get a pause? Can we just, can we just pause for a minute? Now, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to pause Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In fact, I'm literally not going to use the internet uh, until Rebirth comes out. I mean, I'm going to stream, obviously, but like, you know what I mean. I'm not getting on Twitter. They're releasing a demo, and from what I was told, uh... The ability to data mine PS5 games is really easy now, and there's going to be a ton of spoilers. So uh, now that there's a demo, I need to be very careful. The demo is 50 gigs. That's going to have so much data in it. Oh, I, I, no way. No way. I'm keeping out of it. I'm keeping out of it. Mm -mm. No more Twitter. No more news feed. No more... I mean, but there's going to be... But what if they announce a Nintendo Direct? That's the only, that's half the reason I have Twitter at all is because Nintendo announces their directs on Twitter. All right. We'll tell you. Okay, but yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. There's supposed to be one f rumored for next week. Whether it happens or not, we shall see. We shall see. The next Nintendo Direct is two seconds away. Are you are you serious? Wait, wait, I don't think you're lying. I think you might, wait. Why am I walking? What am I doing? I don't know, oh, I can, oh, you can walk in this game. Oh, I didn't realize that was a feature. I didn't realize that was a feature. I thought I broke the game because I couldn't dig like down. How do I, oh, I can only dig in the dirt. That's the difference. I see. That's where it comes into play. Wait, how, how was I supposed to know you could walk in this game? How was I supposed to know? There's no reason I should have known. Oh no, you missed the direct. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I've got a lot more to talk about. I've got, I've got a lot of things I need to talk to you about. Just, just, just things that have been happening, that I've been watching, things I've been doing that I want to, I just want to talk about it. First off, did I get it? Did I win? Oh, no, I didn't. First off, I have to talk about the Goofy movie is messed up. Not the, not the Goofy movie, sorry. The extremely Goofy movie. It's messed up. It's messed up and I'll tell you why. 
I'll tell you why. I almost, I almost want to rant about it. I watched the Goofy movie, no problem. I watched the extremely Goofy movie, and I'm not going to be able to explain to you how messed up the sports scene is when they're doing the skateboarding at the end of the movie. When they do the skateboarding at the end of the movie, there is a scene where their friend CJ is on their rollerblades. He's on his rollerblades and they're ready to go. And the opposing team strapped rockets to his rollerblades that shot him into the stratosphere. Just, just, they pressed a comically large button. Boop! He got shot to the stratosphere. The officiant, the judge, at the starting line, gets mad at Goofy's team because he did a false start. That's what he says. I want you to think about this with me. Think about this. He went up, not forward. He did not go past the start. He went up. And he... And they have the gall to tell Goofy's team that they made a mistake. There are cameras. They're watching with cameras. He has a comically large button that he presses. The moment he presses it, the other team gets shot in the air. And this is all being filmed and broadcast on ESPN as well. He didn't, he, and, 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 and they told him if they don't find a substitute in 20 seconds, that they lose, they forfeit the game. And then, one of three of their contestants, ESPN, ESPN's contestants, like this is a sponsored event, are trapped in a burning building. And they go, oh, it's gonna be hard for them to get out of that one. Let's see what happens. They don't send any paramedics. They don't do anything. And they, all they do is go, hope they make it out and get in time because the other teammates gonna cross the finish line. Hope they survive. They're dying. And do you wanna know how the explosion happened? Because they pressed another comically large button, a different comically large button in front of, not only, this time it wasn't even in front of the cameras. They were in front of 50 people. 50 people watched as he pressed the button and an explosion happened. And they... More like the extremely illogical movie. That's all I'm trying to say about it. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say about it. <laughs> Sir, it's a cartoon. The first Goofy movie made sense. The first Goofy movie made sense. Also, sorry, I, I paused the music. I, I, that's my favorite song, too. It's extremely goaded. It's extremely goaded. Yeah, yeah, it's extremely goaded. Next time we'll see if he can beat the full 18 holes. Oh no. Later. Oh no, are they gonna make me do mini golf later? Where it's all the holes? How long did that take? That was like 20 minutes. That's like a, that, that's like a 40 minute in, un, endeavor. Oh no. Otis is gone, where did, where did he go? Where, where did he go? The movie was too good. That's the thing. The Goofy movie was the perfect amount of Goofy. We got a little too Goofy. We got, we got, when, it, when we went to extremely Goofy, we, we went too far. We went far too far. Okay, we need to go to Ben's Hill. I want my children program to make sense physically and emotionally. Thank you. It's just, it's, it's beyond. I was, I was just brought out of the movie. The moment they pressed the comically large button, I was out. I was out. It just didn't make any sense. Where's Ben's Hill again? I need to go, I need to go to the right at this turn and then take a left. When will you evolve from Goofy Andrew to extremely Goofy Andrew? I would tell you right now, I was literally sitting there with the nooks watching the extremely goofy movie, and the moment that he got launched into stratosphere by the comically large button, I literally said out like, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> we had like a 30 minute discussion after the movie. <laughs> 
after the movie finished about how it was too goofy. <laughs> the purchase of human articles from the Gopher Underground is strictly prohibited. Okay, why are you telling me this? Did I, did I, did I break the rules? Did I, uh, uh what makes you, what makes you say that, Ben? Lash you straight. Have you been going up to Gopher Hill at night? Uh, um, uh, w uh, well? I thought so, less I. Well, there's a way for you to get back some of the money you've wasted. Those gophers make so much money they have to bury it in the ground. You might the spar by planting yellow treasure bell flowers. Whenever you find them, take out your metal detector and start searching. And then press A to find the oh, gopher yeah, treasure. He's trying to tell me to steal from these hard-working individuals. These hard-working gophers. And he's like, oh, just steal their money. Why is buying things prohibited, but you get it? Yeah, so they're like giving me cash. They're giving me money. But they're like, oh, but buying things is wrong. But 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 buying things, now that's, a, now that's, that's sinful. That's sinful. Can I, is it? Oh, I don't know, I think the buck's okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay, so I have to go, oh, I went, I did, I did bad. Oh, I actually did really bad. <laughs> I've, uh, I don't know how to get back. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to, oh, no, wait, this is Dankweed Pond. Oh, I know how to get back. Oh, don't worry. I'm good. No problem at all. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about making an entire rant video about the extremely goofy movie for, uh, for Andrew 64 as a joke. As a joke. I might still do it, though. I might, I might still do it. Like, let me tell you about how, let me tell you about the extremely goofy movie, okay? I'm trying to use, uh, Andrew64 for more than just, uh, interesting content. I want to do it for bad content, too. Oh, it's beautiful at night. I thought Crash. Oh, oh. Oh. Haven't we seen this before? The blood moon rises once again. Be careful, Link. Am I the number one party animal yet? Oh, I need to save. Holy crap, I need to save. Holy crap. I'm not, I don't want to do the golf again. I don't want to, I don't want to do the golf again. Okay. I also uh, not only watched, you know, Atlantis, and I watched... Uh, Hercules and I watched Goofy movies. I also with nooks went on a binge That's right. We watched every Mater tall tale video Every single one Have you all seen umph? Have you all have you all seen umph? I want you I want Help me. Why don't you look at this guy? This is this is what sparked it, okay? We were we were just looking like oh what what like movies were made during like the early two thousands. And we came across a picture. This picture. <laughs> and uh we were instantly hooked. <laughs> it's May Tor! It's May Tor! Dad gum. It's May Tor! It was. It was incredible. We just spent the whole night just watching, just made her go. Hey, let me tell you. Do you know I used to I used to kill people and shove their bodies in the in, in the back of a of a of a wagon? It's like you did not do that, and then the and then the uh then and then it shows them do it. It's literally the exact same plot every single time, but it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, and you were there too. It's so funny. I really, it, 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 it just really took me back. It really took me back to the old days. I was a big Cars fan back in the olden days, and I, you know what? I would still say I am. Just maybe the older stuff. I haven't really seen. I didn't. I didn't actually. I didn't even see Cars two or Cars three. I can't even have an opinion. Boy, oh boy, you gotta help me. Freddy Fazbear has been having the most terrible dreams. He's talking in his sleep and doesn't sound good. 
I'm scared of what happened if I wake him up. Could I, could you do it? Now watch and learn. Boom. Oh, it's, uh, we gotta, we gotta squirt the thieves again. I, I, I understand, I understand. We gotta, we gotta squirt the thieves. There's a Mater Tall Tales game for the Wii? Are you serious? I would love to play that. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> the blood moon rises once again! Beasts of old, come back to life! Be careful, Rodus! What? Do I have to throw him? No, I don't. I don't have to throw him. This is horrifying. Every st and I want you to know if they get one, like they're they're dead. Like like they're dead. There's like stakes to this. There's like stakes to this right now. Ready's here. Why does his name have to be Freddy? Why does his name have to be Freddy? <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Did I lose one? Did one of them die? No, no, no. They're safe. They're safe. No, they're not! He's got one! He's got one! We're gonna shoot him! I got him, I got him, I got him! Lock on! We're, we're targeting on! Target! Target acquired! Fire! Fire acquired! Fire! We're locking in, folks! We need more juice! We need more juice! The sun's almost risen! If we can make it through tonight. Maybe, Little just chicks. maybe. Little chicks. I just want, I, I want you to know, remember, this isn't a dream, this is real life. This is real life. That poor chicken. This is the final boss. Okay, no, no, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, okay, the chicken's making it safely. The chicken's back safe. Get back in quick, chicken. We, are we safe? Chicks. No, we're not safe. We're Little not safe yet. Chicks. This man is not okay. He kind of reminds me of Dr. Kawashima. In Devilish Training. Why is this chicken hanging out back here? Get back in the gosh dang house! Freddy's here. I figured out the lock-on method, and now, like, this game is a million times easier. I'm not getting a lot of points, though. Am I doing- am I doing something wrong? Do I need a- Do I need, like, throw them? Hit them? Punch them? Kick them? Well, I saved all of them. I guess we're safe. I, I, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. I th Oh, we squirted 24 Freddies, defended all the chickens. Boom, star. That was, that was incredible. This game, this game is a 10 out of 10. This game is a 10 out of 10. The fact that they, they went through and, mm, mm, mm. 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 You're a lifesaver. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, I would never have got. Yeah, I would. I would. I would have eaten every single one of them and ripped their heads off with my teeth. Ah, uh, are you? Are you okay, man? I uh, don't. Don't feel like biting anyone. Why? Why is it so loud? Why are the crickets so loud today? <laughs> Not at all. I feel like a new ferret. See ya. <laughs> right. I was so scared. I'm sorry for anyone who like, 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 I mean, that was probably one of the most horrific things that you could have ever seen on stream. And I'm really sorry 
that you that you had to see bogusness on this level. I really apologize. Oh yeah, I should buy some things. I need to buy some things for sure. We're gonna have nightmares now. I mean, I mean, understandable, completely understandable. Anyway, watch Hercules if you've never seen Hercules before. It's so good. It's like it's so good. I had no idea that there was like this formula. Did you? Did you? There was this is like this formula where it's like professional comedian gets funny role. They do like these songs, and then like, and then like, they have like witty, funny dialogue. Like there's witty and funny dialogue in it. I've never, I've never like seen the old Disney formula. I've never seen it before. It was really good. It was really good. It's the magic. It's the Disney magic. Okay, please don't crash. All right, we're good. Last time I clicked fun and games, it crashed. Okay, we're good. We're fine. No problem. Okay, I want to get this one. I think this is the one that you can actually play. I think. Oh yeah, well let's get the whack -a rat too. I think we bought everything now. We've now purchased every single fun and game. I hope your Wii U blows up. Let's get the piano too. Yeah, let's get a piano. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, did you see Joey on the way in? Was he kinda angry? I, I was just wondering. My question is, do I do I have anything that's worth selling? Seven day warranty on all targets. Is there any like reason to like sell things? You only get like a buck. You like you only get like one dollar. There's no reason. I I wouldn't bother selling anything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I haven't seen Aladdin yet. That's that's on the list. What are like some movies, some like classic Disney movies you recommend? But I'm not talking like like the like the 60s. Ugh, ew, gross. I don't want to look at old things. No, thank you. I have seen Wally. -E. I like Wally. -E. Kronk's new group. Once again, zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Zero. Oh, I need to see Milan. I need to see Milan. I gotta see that. I haven't seen Princess the Frog either. I have seen The Emperor's New Groove though. Beautiful. Prince of the Frog was the last 2D movie by Disney. I like the like ones from the 90s and 2000s where it's like 2D, but you can like sense they have like a little bit of 3D in there. You know what I mean? I don't. I've never seen Brother Bear. I have not seen The Little Mermaid, but but it's old, so I don't care. Good evening. I haven't seen The Lion King either. 3D's nuts. Got him. Oh my. All right. I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast. I haven't even seen Tarzan either. I haven't seen Tarzan either. Wow, look at everyone having a good time. Everyone's just having the time of their life. Can I like, can I like play the piano? Can I like do that? I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch either. I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch. No one's playing the piano. I can't even play the piano. Oh, are these the recipes that I made? Okay, so like the recipes you make are showcased like on the corner. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Well, I guess it's time to leave the barn and move over to the next day. I'd argue Cars 2 is worth a watch. It's like, it's, it's, it's Mater in Tokyo, right? Isn't that like the, the plot of the movie? Oh, oh, sorry. I forgot about the darts already. I already forgot. I already forgot about the darts. All right, I'll go back in. I'll go back in. I already forgot about that. I literally just said it. I literally just said, oh, we're going to go in to play darts. And I already forgot. The plot is Mater falls into an international... So it's basically the Mater Tall Tales is a feature-length film. Right? Okay, Okay. now I'm kind of interested. Now I'm kind of interested. Because I did like Umph. I did, I, did, I did like Umph. I was a big Umph fan. Okay, where's that dartboard? Where's that dang dartboard? Where is that dartboard? Oh, there it is. Let's see if it has a DMCA song. Let's see, let's see. If it has the song from the pool, then, I mean, I can play one little slip then. Because then it's already claimed. This is the same song, isn't it? Is that that that's that's the exact same song? That's the exact same song. That is that is that song is one hundred percent claimed. What? 
I'm so good at these kind of games. Watch this. Bullseye. I haven't seen the Iron Giant before. I've never seen the Iron Giant. Oh, actually, even better. Even better song. This is like one of the best kind of games for me. Watch this. I, I, I don't know what it is about these games, but they but I feel like I do better at these games than most video games in the world. <laughs> most video games. Iron Giant isn't dizzy, but you need to see it. Who made, who made the Iron Giant? <gasps> no! Oh, I made a mistake. I was going for a perfect run. I was going for a perfect run. It was made by Warner Brothers. What Warner Brothers shows have I, like, seen? Like, ever? I'm trying to think of, like, a single Warner Brothers property that I've seen. Tom and Jerry. Never never really saw Tom and Jerry. Never really watched the Looney Tunes either. Never watched the Animaniacs. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've, like, seen any of their animated movies. I hope, I hope they have songs like this in, in, in the, uh, the new one. Is what it called? I'm supposed to shoot the ones that are my color or I lose points. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was like, man, why are my points at zero? Why are my points so low? Okay, but I'm like red darts. Why, why, why is it like making me shoot yellow if I'm red darts? It sucks. It's five. Have you seen any of the Hanna Barbera shows? No, but I'll tell you this. I've been getting. I don't know. Someone in chat mentioned this. Someone in chat mentioned the Flintstones movie, like the live-action Flintstones movie. Just out of like passing, they were just like, oh yeah, I saw the, the live action Flintstone movie. Have you ever seen the live action? And I said, no, the Flintstones. Here's the crazy thing. I've been getting advertisements and YouTube recommendations for the gosh dang live action Flintstone movie every single day for the past like week. And now I might go see the gosh dang Flintstones movie. Now I might actually see it. They got me, they got me. I mean, well, when I say ad, I mean like it was recommended to me on YouTube. I was like, oh, here's a clip from the Flintstones movie. Check out this clip. Why don't you, why don't you check out this clip? <sighs> okay, I got one. I got one. And then like I got news stories about it. It's like, oh, it's been 40 years since the live action Flintstones movie. Why are you saying that? Flintstones? Oh, granddad. Flintstones. Like that. Look like at that. That's the way you're supposed to say it. That's the way you're supposed to say it. That's the legal way to say it. Every other way is wrong. I've never watched the Flintstones or the Jetsons. Like, ever. Ever. I am, I am, as some would say, a bad boy. Never saw Yogi Bear. Never really saw Tom and Jerry. Never really saw Roadrunner. Never really saw any of that. Never watched Pokemon as a kid. I, I watched it later in life. I did watch it later in life, so you can forgive me. Roadrunner wasn't Hanna Barbera. Well, I meant like Looney Tunes, Hanna Barbera, all that stuff. Never watched it. I don't even know. I don't even know who Boo Boo is. But I'll tell you right now, I did have one single Looney Tunes comic that I would read over and over again because it was like in a Burger King Happy Meal, and it was like my comic. It was like one of the few things I owned, so I would read that over and over again. I don't know, it was like friggin' like like uh like Jerry got his like head caved in by a by an anvil or something like that. I was like <laughs> mm. Oh I'm giving him points when I hit it. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. I'm actually losing this round just because those ones are so hard to hit. See if I can. I'm winning by one point. Okay, come on, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. You can do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't lose points. Okay, okay. So I got one dart left. And I lost it. Okay, but I still won the round. I still won the round. Look, he gave me 25 points. Thanks, bro. Aw, thanks, bro. I got star from it. I got the star from it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm a party animal, as some would say. Talk to Pip to see how many stars everyone has. When you have the most stars, you are awarded Barnyard Champion. That's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be Barnyard Champion. Whack a rat? Oh, you know. Oh, you know this one's gonna be. This one's gonna be the exact same song. I'm gonna have to beat it again. Yep. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. Oh, yeah. This is the perfect song for this. This is serious. There's no time for second guesses. When your back is up against the wall, the only way forward is through. You are the barnyard champion. No one can take that away from you. I'm gonna break your legs. Oh, perfect! So I had no idea that Twilight Princess HD was actually worth like a ton of money. I had no idea. I, me and Nooks both have a copy of Twilight Princess HD. I think, uh, I think our retirement is set now. As long as Nintendo doesn't port it, I think we have our retirement figured out. Also, congratulations to the Switch for being uh, the number one video game console ever released in Japan. For the GameCube, Wii, or Wii U. So here's the funny thing. We own it on every single system. We own it on the GameCube. We, we have two copies for the Wii, one copy for the GameCube, and two copies for the Wii U, and we both have the Amiibo. We're, we're, we're big Twilight heads in this, in this, uh, in this household. We even have the entire manga for it, which I read recently, and it was really good. It was very good. I like the part where, where the kiss. <laughs> Yet you've never beaten the game. I know. I know. I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm such a horrible person. I can't believe that I never beat at all. Like, like I never once beat Twilight Princess. The furthest I made in the game was like the starting area. Because as a kid, there's like a spider there, and it like made me scared. He's not lying. Yeah, they do kiss the manga. Thank you. Thank you. Like three times. It's awesome. Yeah, the spider was uh was very scary. I hate spiders too, you're not alone. As a kid, like, it was like a dark room with a bunch of spiders, it was scary. I forced myself through Twilight Princess HD last year and it's pretty good. I mean, it's one of uh, Nook's favorite games. And like, I remember my brother really liked it and I liked watching my brother play it. I love like the vibe of the game. It's uh, it's something special, it's something special. And I do really want to finish it. <laughs> but I already have so many dang games to beat! Gosh dang it! I already got too many dang games! And I want Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Might be, I might be, uh, I, I think it'll sell well. I think a lot of people want Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna sell 14 million copies. You know what's really funny? Is you have to think about this. Like, I'm over here talking about, man, I really should play these, like, amazing, incredible games that are, like, like some of the best games ever made. As I'm sitting here playing Barnyard for the Nintendo GameCube and all- and 100%ing it. I'm 100%ing Barnyard for the Nintendo GameCube! 
And I'm not playing Twilight Princess. I'm not playing any of these games. Also, can I say how nice it is that they made this controllable by the D-pad? Just in case you really, really didn't want to use an analog stick. This game was my childhood. I'm not even saying the game's bad. I'm just saying from an outsider perspective, they like come in and they notice me. And I'm like, man, bo boy, I wish you had time to play play uh, Twilight Princess. And like, and bro, what are you, bro, what are you doing, man? I also never saw Rugrats either. I always thought that art style was like creepy. <laughs> I always thought that it's like a specific company. I can't remember what it's called. That like did that art style of like the Rugrats look. But it, it scared the crap out of me. Thank you for coming. Really like 90s cartoons. I mean, I was like, I was, I was born in 97. Of course, I didn't spend much time watching 90s cartoons. But, Klasky Koopso is the name. Klasky Koopso. Yeah, that art style scared the crap out of me. And like, uh, there was like the other ones too. There was like the one with the skateboarding kid. It's like, it's just about skateboarding. I do love those kind of things. I like, I like watching the old 90s things that are like skateboarding stuff. It's like, oh, it's, oh bro, bro, dude, check this out. And he's like, he does like, he just like falls on the pavement. And it's like, oh, bro. Oh, my God. It's like, it's, everyone's talking like that. Oh, I live for that. I absolutely live for that. Ed, Ed, and Eddie scared me. Yeah, he scared me too. He scared me too. Where is, where is the lady? There she is. Who oh, is that? He's in pain. He's he's in pain and scared. What? We're holding a charity match to raise money for Everett the Dog's birthday cruise. Birthday? He does not want to celebrate his birthday anymore. He's we're gonna hold five events. In each game, there'll be lots and lots of coins to collect. You need to win each game and also get the coins. We need to raise 1,000 gopher bucks. Boy, that's a lot of money for an old dog that doesn't even want. It's like, God, why'd you take me away from Family Feud? You know, it, it, it's, you know, Steve Harvey, he says like, it's just naked grandma and it's just so funny. It's his 13th birthday and we'd like to send him on a long vacation. Uh, far away from wherever we are. Why don't we go ask Pig to start the game? He doesn't even know it's his birthday. I'm pretty sure they're saying they're gonna send him off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. But this is a charity match. If you see a coin in the air, jump for it. So we have to get a thousand coins. Can I just steal the money? Can I just like steal it? You're gonna like this part of the game. It's funny unintentionally. I'm already having a good time so far. Ew, mud, gross. Mud's not gross. I said it. Mud is not gross. It's fun. Oh, it's this game. Oh, I haven't played this game since last year. Were you ever a kid that like jumping in the mud? There were kids like that. They like jumping in the mud. What's kick again? B. How do I, how do I play this game again? Oh, that's kick. Oh yeah, I'm doing so good. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. So I should just be kicking the entire time. I'm, I'm just now realizing how I'm supposed to be playing this game. I'm just supposed to do this over and over again and get as much cash as possible. Oh, we're gonna get that thousand bucks. No problem. No problem at all. I loved making potions. You know what I like to do? I like to, uh, I like to do that similarly where we take a bunch of cleaning liquids out, out of the bottom of the sink and I would just like pour them into like the same container, mix it up. And I was like, oh, it's my potion. And I was like, I'm going to sell this. 
That was my that was my potion back in the day. And then I liked uh, inventing new foods, such as bread ball, where you would take the crust off, squeeze it into a ball, put it in the oven, and fill it with turkey seasoning. <laughs> Filled with turkey seasoning. We had fun and raised money for Everett at the same time. You won the first game. There are four games to go. Go into Daisy and figure out what the next game is. And I drank soap as well and called it beer. I don't even know what turkey seasoning is. We're holding another charity match for Everett. What we played this time? It's chicken launch. Go see Peck. Wow, that is a very far distance away. That's like... It's like halfway across the dang map. It's just a seasoning mix. Well, I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, like, what's, what's in it? What did I put in my body? I tried to. I've been, I've been trying to make potatoes recently, like, like hash brown potatoes, stuff like that. And uh, I didn't realize the potatoes I bought were unseasoned. So I've been trying to like put seasoning on it. I can't make the flavor come through. I can't like do it. I put like salt. Pepper, paprika, cayenne. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Take a bite. Nothing. Zero flavor. Zero. Why would potatoes come pre-seasoned? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm buying like like frozen potato things. I would. I don't technically have to, but you know, it's it's easier. Potatoes need lots and lots of salt to get through. Hi there. It, it's not that it tastes weird. It's just it doesn't have a taste. It just doesn't have a taste. Maybe I need to put more on. Are you here for the charity flight? Uh, sure am, Peck. That's great. There's a lot of coins on the flight path. Try to get some money, bitch. Yeah. Also, I contacted HelloFresh to see if I could get the get get the the thing, get the stream going. I'll keep you updated if it actually happens. The actual real cooking following a recipe stream for real and not being weird. We'll see if it happens. I'm getting- I get scared that my email just doesn't work. That's like- that's like- I don't know why. It's because emails are so fickle. Like, to me, there's- there's like nothing proving that my email got delivered. It's not like a text message where it's like, oh, your- your text got delivered, no problem. It's like you can never prove that your email actually made it. So if they don't write me, it's like, oh, did they ignore me or did it like go to spam? Like, it's just, it's such like an old technology that it's like, ah, I hate email in that way. Okay, we're going for it. We're going for the 80. We're going for the 80s. Easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. You ever hear of the two generals problems? Who? The what? Oh, that was star rank. Oh, you missed the 90. Well, I still got star rank. It's fine. I got star rank. Have you found Applejack yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think My Little Pony existed until, uh, until, until after this game came out. That was a lie. That was a lie. I know it came out in the 60s. <laughs> we sure did it, Peck. We got a few coins for the charity fun. <laughs> I like how the the old dog came out all this way to watch me do this and then was forced to walk all the way back to the barnyard. And then after that is going to have to walk all the way back out again. Meet me in the barnyard. Also, uh can I I know I know that like this cash is supposed to be for like his charity fund. What happens if I spend it? Just like just out of curiosity. I know it's supposed to be for the dog, but what happens if I spend it? You just have to earn more. Well then, wouldn't this be like the best way to grind cash? Can you help us raise more money? This time it's a bike race. Who's gonna race me? The Jersey Cows volunteer. <laughs> anyway, they're waiting for you in the Dandelion Meadow. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this in time. There's no way. Like the, oh wait, no, it stops the time. Okay. I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll trust the game. I don't, I don't think I'm going to trust it either. I probably should do it the way the game intended, so that way it doesn't explode on me. Oh, I have to I have to tell you something. I'm going to do something tomorrow, and it's, it's going to be... 
I'm so excited. I, I, <laughs> I set up an appointment to do something I'm never going to be able to do. That's right. I set up an appointment to try out the Apple Vision Pro because I am so incredibly interested in trying it out myself that I made an appointment to try it out with zero intention to buy it and I feel bad. <laughs> I feel a little bad. I feel bad, but it's like, I want to try it. I want to try it. I'm huge into like VR, AR kind of thing. And like, this looks so incredibly cool. It looks so cool. And I'm never gonna buy it. There's no way I'm spending like $4,000. So this is like, this is my only chance. No, 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 my, no, my friends are buying it. No, no one I know. I literally don't know a single person who would ever buy it. So like, this is the time. This is the time for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be in the middle of the Apple store doing this. Whoa! It's even, it's even got like the 3DS camera feature on it. Where you can like take a picture of a camera, like with your camera and it like captures like the depth of it. And then you can like relive it in 3D. And it's like, it's like, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like, to, I, I, I don't, I don't want to get too into it what? because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but like, it's so cool. I haven't seen like new tech that's like this cool in a while. I mean, I mean, I thought the Valve Index was super cool. Like with, they had like finger tracking and stuff like that. But like, holy crap. This is like, this is like so cool. The thought I, I can like, oh yeah, let me just, oh no, hold on. Let me, let me just put a movie up here. Let me just like, oh, let me, let me put like, I, I use the, um, uh, 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 the HoloLens. That piece of crap was the worst thing I've ever used in my entire life. That crap belonged in a dumpster. It was so bad. It was as if you were trying to like do what the Apple Vision does, but through a postage stamp. And it was like, it was like pretty much colorless. It was like pretty much colorless. Cause it was like actually AR, right? So like the Apple Vision Pro isn't AR, it's VR trying to be AR. So like they have cameras in the front that like show you like what the world is to like make it AR, but it's, it's technically VR. But like the HoloLens was actually, actually AR. So like you could see through it and it would have like all the, uh, it would have all the fun little things showing up in the world and it never worked well. It was awful. I tried to develop for it for a class and uh, just, just it, it was just, it was just poop. Oh, somebody tried to explain to me what the two generals was, and uh, it got deleted for being too long. So uh, I, I can't even read it anyway because I'm, I'm, I'm racing. So I'll need to, I'll need to like check that out right after this. Anyway, I would love to play the conquer demo. I would love to play the conquer demo, like on the Apple Vision Pro. <clears throat> like I can get a 4K monitor. Like, does anyone know what the resolution of that crap is? I don't even know what the resolution is. I don't even, what's the field of view? I don't know anything. It's just, wow. Yeah, yeah, thank you for putting the PO box. So if anyone wants to send me an Apple Vision Pro just for kicks, I know I know some of y'all are like, probably have a couple, like one, one that you're just willing, like your spare. If you just want to send that over, I, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, no problem. I know my chat. I know y'all are big, big Apple stands who have like 17 of them. Whoa, I can't move. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Jeez, jeez. Hold on, I can snag the information. Thank you, HUD. I think that the, the FOV was like 120 or so on the, on the Valve Index. Something like that. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a while since like, I've seen like new tech that I'm like, I have to try this. The last time was like the Valve Index. Valve Index, which was 2020. This is like four years ago, right? That's not that long, but you know, I'm the kind of guy that like, 
I like new, new, the new tech. It's like, oh, what is that? How's that work? Oh, what are the specs on that? Oh, even if I'm not like getting it, it's just like, oh, I want to see it. I want to touch it. I just want to touch it, please. Easy. This game looks like complete garbage. Nope. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. Normally, normally I don't like to say uh, say that that it's your opinion on on what you saw was wrong, but uh, this is actually the best game that's ever existed, and uh... <laughs> is the, the character he, is he is he gonna stop moving? Is he gonna stop moving once he hits the fence? He just no. He's I think he's, is he still moving? No, he's fine. He stopped now. He just was slowly moving backwards. I thought he was gonna clip through the fence. Yeah, man. All right, we let you win. Nah, Cold Game Bounty, how are you doing? Welcome to this. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing a little. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. That's gonna just tell me I need to get back to the barnyard. And I don't remember how to get there. How did I do that? Baby, you're a cool guy. I'll say 50% of the time I'm cool. The other 50% of the time, I'm screaming about goofy movies and and being like, oh, no, the, the Apple Vision Pro, though. Have, have you seen the, have you seen it? Bro, it, it, it's, got, it's got like 4K. It's got four of them. Yeah. <clears throat> I genuinely hope that they continue making them. I genuinely, genuinely hope it's like, I would love a cheaper version of it. I would love a cheaper version of it so much. Watch the Goofy movie on the Apple Vision Pro. You could. I mean, you can watch Disney Plus on the Apple Vision Pro. So, yeah. Is there depth to it? Yeah, yeah. It like, it feels, according to what I've heard. Oh! I lost my bike. I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't even know. I don't know where I am. My clothes. Oh, there's the barnyard. It's right there. Can I just like glitch through it? Can I just glitch through the wall? How do I get out of here? How do I, how do I get out of here? I just want VR chat for the Apple Vision Pro. I feel, I feel like, I mean, it's already like become a thing. Like they already, you can already kind of do it. But man, the Apple Vision Pro is a 3680 by 3140 display with an FOV between 100 and 110. So yeah, that's, that's kind of normal. That's kind of normal. I was I was kind of like hoping it would be infinite. <laughs> the moment, I, I've said this before, the moment we can get FOV that's like beyond what humans can see, like it's gonna, it's gonna like change everything. It's gonna, ch it's gonna change everything. Infinite FOV. I want it to be infinite. It has to be like I want it to be showing things on the back of my head Where I couldn't possibly see it Have you looked at the Primax headset? I have I've heard a lot of things about it though were like warps because like it's so it's the FOV is so big that it's like warping I've heard it's like really good, but that it, it has issues still Fourth event yeah, I'm a bit of a sharp squirter myself. Sharp is in the barnyard. Ben is putting out some targets for you. Go see him when you're ready. Why? I know. I, I know. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, he's right behind me. He's right behind me. Ben. Ben. <clears throat> ben. It's me. Now that I know how to lock on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a uh, how they hanging. Are y'all set for the charity squirt? Hit the targets before time runs out, like usual. And you can also try and run over and pick up as many coins as you can. Let's talk more milk. Let's get started. <clears throat> anyway, I actually I don't know if you know this. I uh, my, I think my dad stole this from his old job. I have, a, I have a 360 degree camera. I want to film like a, a I, I found this like recently. 
I want to film like a video on this and like put it on uh put it on Andrew 64 and make like VR videos <laughs> like a VR video kind of thing where it's just like I don't know my thought was like like a VR video that's just like you and me sitting on like the floor while I'm like eating chips like just absolutely nonsensical makes no sense just like POV you and I are sitting on the floor eating chips that's the plan that's the plan <gasps> POV, I grabbed my bag of Lay's potato We grabbed a bag of Lay's potato chip. What if it's POV, you sitting next to me while I'm eating potato chips while the Luigi's Mansion video is playing on like an iPad or something? That would be, s that's such a good idea. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down right now. That's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Bam. <clears throat> POV. Watching Luigi's Mansion while eating potato chips. And, and like, I'll be sitting next to you. It won't be like the chips are getting lodged into your... That would also be kind of funny. Just like chips being like put out on the camera. Everyone's at all. That's actually really funny too. Alright, let's do this. God, it's loud. Let's just get coins. Maybe if I like get extra coins, they'll be like, oh, you can keep those. Would you use a CRT to watch the video? I could bust out the CRT back there and turn it on. I, I could I could turn on the CRT. I don't know, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay focused on making I wanna make these Andrew 64 videos. I have like plans for like, I want to like go to a Goodwill and like, I, I thought of like a really funny way to do it. I'd like, like something really funny. But uh, I do need to make sure to focus on making videos. I do need to, I need, I need to focus on that. So it's just more of a free time kind of thing. In my free time, I'm making weird Andrew 64 videos for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So I like have, mo I don't have monetization on that channel anymore. Did I ever tell you like I lost it? I lost it because I didn't post enough videos on that channel. But, um... I am getting closer. I am getting closer now. I think I'm like... I'm like 85 watch hours away from it. I think I'm 85 watch hours. D? D rank? Wait, really? I can... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want the dang... I want the dang S rank. I want the dang S rank. Gosh, diddly dang it. I don't even know if I- Well done. It just started targeting things. What is it targeting? Really helped Everett give Everett a good send off. Thank you. I appreciate it. Aw, oh, I need that sound clip. I need that sound clip for whenever I like I do something in my life. I'm like, where did the dog go? Where'd he go? One last event. Can you help us again? That old dog is like a father to me. Your father was a dog? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Otis has arranged a charity golf match. Oh, wow. Well, there's only 15 minutes left in the stream. And I know exactly what we're doing for the next 15 minutes. I know exactly what we're doing, folks. I'm gonna, while we're doing the golf thing, I'm gonna find the song. I'm gonna find the song that goes, <laughs> So we can like, we can put a cap on the stream, you know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't like end the stream without you understanding what in the world I'm talking about. We can't, we can't end the stream without that. So I'm gonna find the, the e e -oo. It should be easy, I'm gonna pull up like Suzume. It should be easy. Like that's like 90% of the songs in that, in that. I'll just like play like five minutes of it. Should I have saved? We're going back, we're going back, we're going back, we're going back and saving. We're going back and saving. Last time, last time the end of the stream, it, it crashed, everything crashed. We've already ended so many streams not understanding what you're talking about, Andrew. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, but that's part of the charm, right? That's part of, that's part of the charm. Okay, let's save. 
You cannot save. Okay. Alrighty. Just gonna have to trust the game functions. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Right? I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just do a quick 18 rounds of golf. And uh, then save. <clears throat> Should be absolutely no problem whatsoever. All right. Let's do it. Jared, welcome back. You just in time for more mini golf. We got nine. Oh, only nine. Okay, okay, okay. That's only nine. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. We can do this. We can do this. Now, I'm going to pull up the, that soundtrack. There's going to be like a ha-ha song in here. There's going to be, I guarantee you, there's going to be a ha-ha song in here. I'm going to have to like play like small snippets. Nope. 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 Gosh, what a good movie. Nope. Not this one either. There's gonna be a ha-ha in here! Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. I'm gonna find it! Hold on! Nope. Nope. There is that. 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 That part. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going back. I'm going back. Where it sounds like 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 the vocals, it's like almost like a MIDI thing. That's from Suzume. And they did something similar to that. It is something- oh gosh, he's not having fun. Something similar to that in the Atlantis movie. Like that, yeah, yeah, I did it right. Yeah, that was a hole-in-one for sure. For sure. I'm underwhelmed. Well, I'm, it's, I'm just gonna say it right now. It is the best, like, trope. Like, 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 music trope you could do. Also, I'm pretty sure I only need like five bucks to be able to get to the, the thing. I don't know if trope is the, what's, it's not trope, what's the word? The word is, uh, style? Style? I don't know, I don't know what you would call that. Instrument? Like using your voice as an instrument is like one of the coolest things in the world. Sound font, that's a good way to put it. I need to like, I need to like make that, uh, a song in my, in my album. It's just, imagine, it's just like a piano song. It's like a really like soft, like, like piano song. And you just hear me go. <laughs> Crush level, welcome in. Good to have you here. We're just talking about the best kind of music in the entire world. <laughs> that, that to me, if you have that in your, in your, in, in your soundtrack for any kind of like movie, don't do that again. It sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Well, it sounds good when they do it. It sounds good when they do it. Maybe not when I do it, but 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 you can admit it sounds good when they do it. Yeah. It's it sounds like someone took like a like a like a voice clip and like put it on a MIDI keyboard kind of thing. You know what I mean? It got overuse in the early 2000s. Well, as we have established, I have not watched a lot of the early 2000s stuff, which is probably why I love it so much. I'm like, oh, this is so new and cool. It's like, no, Andrew, it's actually, it's actually been around for like 40 years and everyone has heard it 700 times. Sounds like Ezio's theme from Assassin's Creed. Maybe it got used a lot in PS3 games. Maybe you are right. Maybe, maybe it did. Maybe, maybe it did. <clears throat> Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I do miss when mini, MIDI music was like a more of a thing, you know? 
I do miss like that kind of sound. Like like Twilight Princess has the last Zelda game with like a MIDI soundtrack. And it's very it's very cool and nostalgic and I like it. I like the way it sounds. Is it the same thing for Sunshine? Because yeah, Mario Galaxy was after Sunshine. And they used like an orchestra there. Orchestrated music is like the norm now, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like having a fully orchestrated video game soundtrack is like normal now. For like, you know, for like big companies and stuff like that. Indie games still have that, have the MIDI market cornered. Twilight Princess has a lot of those vocalizations and it's really beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. That's right, that's right. MIDI also just doesn't sound as compressed. Well, I guess technically you are, right? Like the uh, the songs I made for uh, the composer streams that I did, the two I did, which are on the Archive channel, by the way, if you want to check them out. I made a Christmas album. I made just a real album uh, with my own personal uh, music. If you want to check that out, it is on the Archive channel. Just search like composer or compose. Anyway, uh, those are all technically MIDI. It's just like, they sound so realistic now that it doesn't like, you know, you can make orchestrated sounding MIDI music now is what I'm trying to say. Last hole, by the way, as long as it doesn't crash, as long as it doesn't crash, we win. We win. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. A little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, and there we go. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Oh, if I've just a little bit, just a little bit too hard. Just a little bit too hard. There we go. There, Dang. there we go. Deathloop's OST was done entirely in a MIDI related program. The instruments were real, but most of them wasn't composed live. Man, MIDI music's really come a long way. Do you like vocals or do you like MIDI vocals? I guess both. I guess both. That was the last charity event. Did you get enough money? You need a thousand gopher bucks. Here's a gold rush token just in case you're a little short of cash. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Yeah, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna save. And we're gonna live our best life. I'm curious, like, what, what are they, what are they, what are they gonna do with the dog? What, what's happening now? I don't know what they meant by cruise because I don't know where they would get a cruise. So uh, I'm curious to see uh, what happens. I've got like a hair tickling the back of my neck, and I think it's a spider. I go like, I'm going like this. <sighs> yeah, I, I have seen that movie. I've, I, Oh, you don't have to worry about any any kind of questions getting answered tonight, Crush. You don't have to worry about any questions. There's no questions going to be answered on the stream. Don't you worry. Crap. Yo, oh, see how cool that was? All right. Anyway, I gotta go save. Okay. Save. Yes. How does it not crash the stream? Can you explain this to me? Can you explain to me how it? When does it decide to crash on me? When do, when does it decide to crash? Are we gonna go through a whole stream with no crashes? Congratulations. Also, sorry for the bike effort. ticking in your right ear. You should have quite a number of coins after all those charity matches. You need 1,000 gopher bucks. Do you got it? It's a bomb. So it's a wonderful. bomb. Yay, a cruise! A big birthday party! Yay! P RT! <laughs> Let's see uh, what cutscene we get. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's a whole chapter! Hardly anyone took Coyote Season seriously. That was a mistake. 
One night, there was a huge party for Everett the dog. Didn't take long for things to get out of hand. What's happening? What's happening? This is very ominous. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that never happened. Meet me in the barn tonight. Well, something happened. Something probably very serious happened. The plot of the movie is starting to happen. Is this, is this are we at the plot of the movie now? Was that all uh was that all uh preamble? Like a prequel to the movie? Serious question, do you think a hot dog with the bun is a sandwich? Everyone's welcome. Everyone. Yes. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't I don't I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, you're saying taco? Oh. Tacos aren't made of bread. They're made of corn. What am I talking about? You, this is not the question you should have asked me. This is not the question you should have asked me. I'm not gonna give you an actual like opinion that's gonna be valid or valuable in any way, shape, or form. I just want you to know that. I want you to know that. Hey, it's busy tonight. Can you help serve some drinks? Oh, I'd love to help serve some drinks. What's the deal? I love it. What, I, I said it once, I said it a million times. Hi, do you mind helping us get drinks? Yeah, sure, how can I help? Press A to pour a drink. The longer you pour, the happier the customer will be. Don't let anyone go thirsty, or you get a game over. If you drop a glass, it comes out of your pay, and don't forget to collect the money. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be fun. Making money's always fun. I'll tell you what, you can keep the tips. I, what am I? What am I doing? I don't. I don't know how he expects me to. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's just one button. Okay, never mind. It's just one button. If I fail this, I'm not a gamer. Oh, is this just? Is this just beer tapper? Oh, oh I wanted more of that. That was actually. That was actually really good. That was actually. I really like that. Where did this machinery come from? Like, can you explain to me where the machinery for this entire operation? Who is providing the milk that is going through the giganto pipes? Oh yeah, I got this. Oh, I got this, no problem. Why do they sometimes send back a glass, but sometimes they don't send back a glass? This game was featured in Wreck-It Ralph, the best movie that's ever existed. Because it has Sonic the Hedgehog in it. Do not ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I think a hot dog is a sandwich because if you put any other meat inside, if you put any other meat inside a hot dog bun, it would be a sandwich. Right? Just because it's a wiener doesn't mean it's like, oh, it's just a different, it's a different thing. It's a different thing. You put like some, some ham, some beef, some roast beef in a hot dog like bun, it's a sandwich. You put a hot dog in a hot dog bun, then it's a taco, hmm, no, no. Hot dog literally is not a sandwich. I'm adamant about you not getting into this conversation ever. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be completely honest, I thought there was a right answer. I didn't realize it was one of those questions where there's no right answer. I thought you were gonna be like, oh no, there's a, no, there's a real answer. According to Wikipedia, the uh, a hot dog is actually a and blank. I didn't realize it was gonna be one of those there is no answer scenarios. Also, I haven't collected any money. I don't even know if I'm supposed to, I've forgotten. What's the crate mean? What's happening? I'm just throwing things at him. What's happening? What's happening? Why am I, why am I throwing things at him? 
What what happened? I got a I got a rank. It's fine. You fail. Uh, yeah, you know, I probably didn't. It said congratulations. It said congratulations. I just started, like, chucking smoothies at him, and I'm like, I thought I had to hold down the A button. Did I unlock, like, rapid fire mode that I didn't realize? You're my main cow. Look at all those satisfied customers. <laughs> I think I sprained my boring arm. That's why you got two arms. If you ever want to help out again, just step up to the blue curtain. See, look, I didn't fail. I, uh, I just succeeded poorly. There is a right answer, and it's that hot dog isn't a sandwich. Well, what is it? Is it just a hot dog? Is a hot dog just a hot dog? Is that is that is that is that the answer? That was the whole chapter. That was the entire chapter. Was just the. Ben fought those coyotes off like a strong man, defending others, but it took every last bit of his strength. Wow, he's muscular. Wow. Is he okay? Everyone is wrong. Oh, he's not! Clearly, a hot dog is one of the <laughs> foods that nobody seems to know about. I don't care about hot dogs anymore! He's dead! What?! Are you serious?! They killed Ben?! Out of nowhere?! They, they, oh, oh, man, he fought, he fought really, those coyotes really hard, and then he's just dead. And now everyone's just having a nice drink?! Thank you, Benny, for the bits. Um, um, I'm sorry to say I, I don't care about hot dogs and sandwiches anymore. I'm not going to eat again. I've decided I'm not eating food again. But I do appreciate the bits, Benny. Thank you. Thank you so much. What? I got a crick in my giblets. <laughs> We're ending the game. We're, We're turning off the game. We're turning off the game. <laughs> It's time, it's time to end the stream. I can't believe, I can't believe they just killed Ben. Am I gonna find his body? No, they already buried him. How many weeks have passed since this happened? How many weeks have passed? Okay, well, we're just gonna save now. Uh, thank you. For everyone, for the for the riveting hot dog discussion, I appreciate it, and uh, it's official. I don't. I, I. It doesn't matter anymore. Ben is dead, and I think we all need to need to take a long, hard moment about how short we have to spend with him. Is there any more squirt videos? Nope. Still no. At least there's animal galleries. I don't... I don't... I don't like horses. I just don't, I just don't like horses. Are any good trailers? SpongeBob! <laughs> Plankton is a flying sponge. SpongeBob! Yay! <laughs> is this game good? It's another game that reuses the battle for King of Bottom Mods. I swear they reuse the battle key for bottom battle for bottom bikinis. They use their models like for seven games after they made theirs. SpongeBob SquarePants, creature from the Krusty Krab, rampaging your way, October 2006. I'm saying people say it's not good. <laughs> well, that was Barnyard. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed enjoy the game. You played the game? No, I haven't. I played, uh, I played, um. I played that game! <laughs> I play- I've already played that game on stream twice. I forgot. That did not look like the game I played. That looked nothing like the game I played. Where's Patrick Man or whatever, whatever the crap. Crank that handle, SpongeBob. It uses footage they revealed the final level and then that was just it. That was just it.
I didn't even get to the final level. They literally, it, I'm assuming that's like beta footage and like, uh, you know, oh, maybe I'll make a video on it. Maybe I will. But for now, let's look up submit for stream. I don't even know how close I was to the final level. I got to pat, uh, uh, Plankton running away from a giant Krabby Patty and they got squishled. They got squished. It's what footage? B b beta footage. B beta footage. Oh, wow. There's a lot in here. Jeez Louise. Okay. Here's a game with the exact... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm told this is another... Huh? Sound. From Cold of the Lamb. It's similar. 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 But it, it, but, but this is a little like, no, no, it's not similar. That's exactly the same thing. That's exactly, I'm willing to admit it. That's literally the exact same thing. And that's good. That's really nice. I know nothing about Cold of Flame. I know nothing about it, but uh, yeah, that's really good. Oh yeah, and it, it sounds exactly like this one from Tetris Effect. Here's another, here's another, here's another one. Literally the exact, that is the exact same thing. 100%. That is the exact same thing. Thank you, Chiptuner and HUD, for uh, for proving my point that it's literally the best sound that's ever existed. Using a voice as a synth is like the best sound that's ever existed. All right. This is from Benny. Had this stupid idea for a Jingle Bells PSA. Consider it an overdue Christmas gift. <gasps> Merry Christmas, everybody. If you need to get a ride home, use an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> that's so good. That's that's so good. That's such a good video. That's so. F I love the the crowd of like like the young boys on Christmas Day saying drinking and driving is really really bad. Go to a doctor. That's so funny. That's so funny. Benny, that was beautifully done. That was beautifully done. Thank you so much. Okay, all right, all right, good. All right, we're good to go. Let's let's go to the next one. Do you feel lucky? From Scott, no last name. I suck at F zero. Well, um, I'll give you a little sprinkle of magic. <laughs> Why wouldn't, he stop, why wouldn't he stop looking at me? He won't stop looking at me. Dude, I'm such a weirdo. That was before I watched the Goofy movie. Do I feel lucky? I think so. I think I'm feeling at least a little lucky. Bah, thank you for the tier two resub. We are gathered here to mourn the loss of the great Cow Ben. He was truly a hero among us, and we must honor his memory for years to come. Among us. Thank you for the 56 month Risa Ma. Thank you so much. Couldn't have said it better myself. Even if it was a little Okay, this is from Carter. I I see Toad. My only fear is that this has something to do with the Toad from Brooklyn. But we're gonna we're just gonna find out. We're just gonna find out. It's me, Toad from Brooklyn. I live underneath the streets and sniff your toes. <laughs> That was the... <laughs> oh. Oh. Why is why is the why is the little toe bigger than the big toe? Why does he look? Why does he look? Why does he look like that? Why does he? Why does he? Why does he look? Why does, why does, he, why does he look like that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> my gosh, Carter, it's beautiful. It's 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 quite possibly. It's incredible. I feel like my, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just so appreciative. I'm just so appreciative. Thank you, Card. Thank you for the lore accurate tone. Ugh. And our final submit for stream. All of these have been absolute bangers. Holy crap. From Betty. 
after re-watching the VOD of your first Chibi Robo game session, and I saw this moment, I knew what to do. I don't remember this. I do not. It's, this was too far in the, in the past for me to remember. Beta 64 only fans, but instead he's fully closed in a bathtub talking about the development of Super Mario Galaxy. Can I tell you about my worst offender? I didn't even think of it as a worst fit. I'm, I'm gonna tell you only because I'm curious if you think it was a bad idea. Bathtub stream went, oh, 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 just wait. That'll be the next sub go. <laughs> this is such a weird clip. This is gonna be weirdest clip of the year. Yeah, get the cucumbers in. That is so funny. It's just literally amazing. It's like, this was the moment when the bathtub stream was first conceived as an idea. The first moment, like right here to here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't, isn't that amazing? The prophecy was fulfilled. Bad idea? Mm, I'm sorry. Uh, it actually won best stream of the year. So, uh, yeah, you used to be normal. Really? Are you sure about that? Are you are you sure about that? Do you really do you do you want to like log that in the book of like messages you have sent that you believe that I have been normal at any point? Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, that's the stream for the evening. Thank you for watching. Um, rest in peace. To my main man, Ben, I miss you. That was my favorite voice to do. It's hey, me, Ben. That was literally my favorite voice to do. And I did not do it anymore. I do. I have no chance of ever doing it again. And uh, I feel very sad. But next time, I think we're getting close to the end of the game. So next time, we might, uh, I mean, we're not going to be, maybe, hey. I don't know about this game. Maybe we're going to bring him back from the dead. You never know. Tomorrow, we have a mission to accomplish on stream. We have a mission. We're doing Tomodachi Life, where our attempt is to get Nooks to the moon. We need to gain thousands of dollars. But that is the goal for the stream. If you have a me you would like to see on stream, you can put it in the temporary rooms of the Discord server, put a QR code to the me to put it in the stream. I'm accepting applications for the affordable grow up plan, which costs, by the way, just pennies a day. Just letting you know that. Just wanna make sure you're aware of that. All right, you all have a great night. And uh, I know exactly who we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Mega64 because they're gonna be playing Donkey Kong 99. 94. I keep getting the year wrong every time. Best game of all time. Best game of all time. So, enjoy. Yeah, Donkey Kong 99, the new game for the Switch. You didn't see the reveal? Oh, oh no problem. I, 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 be sure to download it right after the stream. I will see you all tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, as always. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. And uh, rest in peace, Ben. Thank you.